Hello everyone, this is Dr. Zaidi. Welcome to my YouTube channel, ZTube. In this video, I'm going to perform a simple regression analysis. So what is regression analysis first? The regression analysis is a statistical method to evaluate the relationship between a dependent variable and independent variable. This is the definition of a simple regression analysis. If you're using a multiple regression analysis, then you are evaluating a relationship between the dependent variable and multiple independent variables, okay? In a dependent vari uh, in a multiple regression, you have two or more independent variables. In a simple regression, you have one dependent and one independent variable. So here is the equation for simple regression. Y equals to A plus BX, which is the same as the equation of line y equals to mx plus b, okay? Here, y is the total cost, a is your total fixed cost, b is your variable cost per unit, x is a unit, all right? So the total cost equation is driven by the equation of line here. y is the dependent variable, or the total cost is a dependent variable, and u, unit, is the independent variable, or x is the independent variable. So if you can see here in this graph, there is a y-axis uh, which has cost information and the units data is provided in the x-axis or the horizontal axis. The cost is driven by the number of units produced. As you produce more and more units, the cost is increasing, which is depicted by the, the uprising um, uh, regression line here. Okay, so your cost is depending on your units, right? So that's why cost is your dependent variable or y, y axis is your dependent variable because it depends on your x axis or the number of units produced in this case. So let's move on to the example now. So the example says Z Corporation uses the regression analysis to estimate the total cost function for budgeting purposes. The data for various levels of production is provided in the table. So on the right hand side, you can see data is provided uh, at a numerous activity levels, 4,000, 2,000, 3,000, 1,000. So they are randomly organized here. And then the corresponding cost at each activity level is provided in the table as well. So at 4,000, you have $170,000 total cost. Okay. You need to estimate the total cost equation in part A and part B, you need to find out the cost of producing 20,000 units. So let's start with the Excel, and we're gonna use Excel to solve this problem using the simple regression analysis method. So in my Excel sheet, I copied the data from the question we have on my PowerPoint slides, so here is the data, the, the 10 data points um, at 4,000 units, we have 170,000, 2,000, $120,000 cost, and so on and so forth. So now what we are going to do, we are going to estimate the regression equation. So what do you do here? I'm using uh, the Mac here. So you go here in data and you try to find out the data analysis right here on the right-hand side. If you don't see, the data analysis on the right hand side, then you go in the tools and then you look for the Excel add-ins. And then you find out the analysis tool pack, you add analysis tool pack here, and then you will see the data analysis on your Excel sheet. So you click on data analysis, you will see this dialog box appears, and you're going to click on a regression. Once you click on regression, click OK. Now it says input Y range. So Y is the Y axis or the total cost. So you click on this flag right here and then you highlight the Y axis. Y axis was the cost. So you highlighted it and then you click it again. And then now input X range, you click this box and then highlight the x-axis, which is quantity or units or activity level. Again, you're gonna highlight all the way from the label, which is units, 
to the last data point. So that's highlighted now. You click on labels, and if you wanna, if you wanna, uh, you want to have your output on a new worksheet, you can click on new worksheet. Otherwise, you can click on the output range. I want it to have in the new worksheet, so we have more space there. And if you would like to see the residual plots or standardized residuals or you know line fit plots, then you can click on one of these items. So I'm going to click on line fit plot so it can show us the regression data in the regression line. So now I'm going to click OK. As soon as I click OK, it moves to the next sheet. And here it shows, it gives me the regression output. And then it, give, it also gives me the regression line, right? I can draw a line here. If I click here, if I click the lines here, okay, why is it not clicking? So now right here. So I can click on the solid line and now we can see that we have a solid regression line here passing through. This is the regression line. Okay, so now we're gonna interpret the data. Okay, first of all, we are going to write the regression equation. So if the important piece of information that we need, because this is a brief overview of simple regression, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail. We need to write the total cost equation. The total cost is basically equals to your total fixed cost plus your variable cost per unit and times units, okay? So th this format, so if you look at the data here, the intercept on your row seven, right? And B7 is 50,866. This is the y-intercept. The y-intercept is this in part in the data. If you look at the graph, this is the y-intercept. So y-intercept is basically your total fixed cost. So this is how you enter the equation. Total cost is equal to, because it's a cost, so it's a dollar sign, 50,800. 66.67, I'm just using two decimal places, all right? And then because our equation continues, so I'm gonna put plus variable cost per unit and times unit. So what is variable cost per unit? Now, if you look at line 18 or row 18, it says units. And in cell B18, it gives you 25.09, right, six, 25.096. So if you round up, this will be 25.10. So that is going to be your variable cost per unit, 25.10. Now, once you have this data, and times unit. This will become your regression equation. 50,000, which is the intercept, is your fixed cost, plus this is 25.096, or round, round up 25.10, is your variable cost per unit, time units. This equation can be used to calculate any number of units, the cost of any number of units. If you plug in 100,000 here, it will give you the total cost of producing 100,000 units. So this is for equation. Now, if the other pieces of information that you need to know is the R square. The value of R square here in this example is 93.97% approximately. 0.93968 is approximately equal to 
So what it explains is, it explains the changes in the dependent variable caused by the changes in independent, independent variable or variation in the independent variable. What is independent variable? If you look at the graph right here, the units is independent variable. The cost is your dependent variable. So we can say that 93.93% changes in the cost is explained by changes in the units, right? Not 100%, maybe some other variables are also affecting cost, but 93.97% of the variation in your total cost is explained by the changes in your units or 93.97% of the variation in dependent variable is explained by the changes in your independent variable. That's how you explain the R square. Another piece of information, an important piece of information is p-value, which is 3.710. And then p-value, you're going to look at the p-values for independent variables. Here we have only one independent variable. So it's, it's, it's uh, and not much of a matter of significance here, but when you have multiple variables, then you can exclude some of the variables if they are not significant. So what is significant? We usually use three level of significance, 1% or 0.001, 5% or 0.005, and 10% or 0.0. 0 0.10, right? So we have three levels of significance. So if the p-value falls below one of those levels, the variable is considered as significant, right? So in this case, 3.710 raised to the power minus six is definitely below 10%, is definitely below 5%, is definitely below 1% because it's 0 0.00003, right? So it's a lot less than 0.01%. Oh, um, uh, 1% or 0 0.01. So therefore, the units is significant, right? So you can consider unit as a significant variable at 1% level. If it's significant at 1%, it is obviously significant at 5% and 10% level. If it's significant at 5%, then it's obviously significant at 10%, but may or may not be significant at 1%. If it's significant at 10%, it may or may not be significant at 5 and 1%, right? So for example, if it's 0 0.09, it's only significant at 10%, but not at 5%. So that's how you can evaluate the significance of the variable. So this is overall a good regression equation because the variables are the variable is significant units, and also the R square value is pretty high. The R square value ranges from 0% to 100% or 0 to 1, right? 0% 0 to 100% or 0 to 1. That's the value of R square. So this model is significant and the regression equation, we found it here. Now we can use this regression equation to uh, find the answers for our problem. So back to the PowerPoint slides now. So our first question was to estimate the regression equation, part A. Here is the regression equation. Total cost is 50,866.67 plus 25.10 times unit, right? So that's the total cost equation. Our part B was to estimate the total cost of um, making 20,000 units. So we are going to insert 20,000 for units here in this equation here. So 50,000, 866.67 plus 25.10 times 20,000 will give, give us the total cost of 552,866.67. Now remember, if you are doing everything on Excel, even the calculation, so the calculation may be off. I'm only using two digits here, 0.67 for the fixed cost and 0 0.10 for the variable cost. So using those two digits, this is our answer. The total cost is 552,866.67. And our fixed cost was 50,866.67. So this graph shows that 
the y intercept where this line the regression line is going to intersect so if you draw a line all the way down here it's going to intersect at 50866.67 so this graph is also a total cost graph which shows this is a fixed portion and then the slope here determines the variable cost per unit okay that completes our simple regression analysis a brief overview thank you for watching my video please subscribe my channel for live updates and other videos